If your Excel spreadsheet looks like this, where you've got gaps in it and you wanna fill in values either up or down to fill in the blanks, I'm gonna show you how you can do that in Power Query and get around a potential issue you might encounter when doing so. Now, before we jump in, if you're finding these tutorials and tips helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and make sure to enable notifications so you never miss another video. So the first thing I'm gonna do is load this data into Power Query. I'm gonna to go to the data tab, select from table or range, leave the default option selected as my table has headers, click okay. And now it's gonna open up, it's gonna open up Power Query and put my table into there. So if you wanna fill, fill in any blank values, for example, let's say this is ID 647, this should also be ID 647. Then in that situation, we want to fill the values down. We want to copy from up and paste down. So if we select this column, go to the transform table, a transform tab, there's an option to select fill. We can select fill down or fill up. If I hit fill down, should copy it. It didn't copy it here. And so this tells me there's an issue. And the problem is these values are not null values. Normally, if the values are, are empty, they'll, they'll say that they're null, indicating that there's nothing there. So these contain spaces. So I'm going to X out of this, space, uh, this step here. And now what I'm going to do is replace the values. So if I go on the Home tab, I'm going to click on Replace Values. And for the value defined, I'm just going to leave this as it is. And I'm simply going to replace it with the word null. I'm going to click on OK. And now you can see now it says null, telling me that there's nothing there. So now I'm going to go back to the Transform tab and select the Fill option. This time select Fill Down. Now it works. Now you can see we copy the values from above down. If I want to do the opposite, Fill Up, I can do that as well. So depending on how your data is structured, you may want to use one or one or the other. But either way, that's the key to making that work, making sure that your values in, in, uh, in Power Query are null and not just blank. So if you're coming across an issue where it's not copying properly, check to make sure that it actually says null. If it doesn't, take that step and do the replace values. And that's right on the Home tab. You can just select your range and select replace values. And the key thing is to remember, don't put any spaces, just leave it as blank and then replace it with the word null. And then once you do that and the values show up as null, then the, the fill function in Power Query will work properly. That's all for this video. If you did like it, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.